What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking 3D segment diagram in Revit. It's a great way to present just a kind of a small part of your project that uh, I guess you figured out in a, an interesting way and you just want to present it uh, how, how it works. So it's an interesting way of presenting uh, kind of small parts of your project. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media as well. Okay, so this is the project that I'm going to be using, and if you want to get uh, this project file, uh, go to my Patreon, first link in the description. Okay, so uh, for creating this 3D view, we need to go to a regular 3D view, and then we need to right-click on that, and duplicate it. So go here to duplicate view, just duplicate and you get another one. And we can leave it at copy one and we can change it later. So let's uh, turn off these uh, this boundary, hit apply. Okay, so this is the whole city and this is the project and I want to create a 3D detail of this here staircase that I have. And this little uh, kind of facade uh, element part that I want to show or present as well. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create a 3D section but if I go here and click 3D section apply as you can see nothing happens and the reason for that is if I type in VG for visibility graphics and go here to annotation categories as you can see uh, they're turned off so just make sure that uh, you turn them on before you do this hit apply okay and now as you can see that here's our uh, section box. Uh, and now to modify the section box I'm going to go to uh, the site plan and as you can see now it's highlighted over here but you only can change it like this. If you click anywhere outside of it or outside of these arrows uh, you need to go back and select the section box in 3D view. So if I click over here it's gone. I can't edit it. So I need to go back into my 3D view, copy one, select it again and then go back into into the site plan sorry okay the site plan and now just kinda make it smaller and make it smaller here here as well bring this up then I'm just going to be zooming in okay so I need to move it over here kinda make it like that so this is something that we're searching for. Okay, now once I have this, I need to rotate it. As you can see, uh, the building is kind of going in this direction and I would like my section box to kind of be uh, going in that direction as well. So I'm just going to hit rotate tool here, go place for angle of rotation and place wherever. Then go like this uh, kind of horizontally, click once and then angle it at the same angle as uh, my building which is kind of this angle and then I'm just going to be modifying this a little bit kind of like that I don't want to select any of this so kind of go like that bring this in a bit and this here a bit okay so once we have this section box set up in uh, the site plan now we can go and modify it a bit more in the 3D view so in 3D view this is what we get we can make it smaller yeah, that's what we have. So, and it actually looks real good. If we go over here, yeah, we can see the stairs. Everything looks nice. And now uh, we have this level minus one, and we have this section box, and I don't want to have any of those. So first, let me just modify the section box just a little bit, kind of to to grab just a bit more, kind of like that. Okay, and now once this is selected, hold the control, select a level one and then go over here and hide element. So now this is hidden and I think it looks uh, a bit cleaner like this. Okay, so once you've done this, let's go and search over here for our crop view and turn that on and let's crop our view. So if we decide to kind of print this, we have a cropped view. So let's do something like this bring this in a bit over here and here I'm just going to be leaving a bit of room to do all of my annotations. So kinda set it up like that this looks good and now I'm just going to be turning on shadows and go over here to graphic display options and turn on uh, ambient shadows as well and it's a bit dark right now so I'm just going to hit lighting and bring this light up and bring the shadows down let's hit apply 
yeah, let's go a bit less, something like 19. Yeah, this works better. Okay, so once we have this, now we can uh, kind of do just one more modification. I would like to select all of the stairs and kind of make them pop out. And to do that, just hit, uh, make sure that nothing is kind of being highlighted, kind of like this. And then right click, go override graphics and view by element. And here for the pattern, set it to solid color for the surface pattern, foreground, check it visible. A pattern solid fill and for color let's do I don't know let's try yellow hit apply yeah this looks nice it's a bit different okay so once we have this now let's add all of our annotation and explanation of what we have over here so I'm just going to go to annotate and here we've got this text tool and you can check here for this uh, two segment uh, leader and just go like this one click two click and then you write text but as you can see over here, if I write text like this, it's way too large. I want to make it a bit smaller. So the problem is uh, it's the scale is too large. So if I set it to 200, this looks better. But let's delete this and try again. So go something like this. And let's type in, I don't know, flat roof. Okay, modify to finish it. Now let's go again, text. Let's kind of select like this, like stair, let's continue on, maybe this should be annotated as well, hit the modify to kind of finish it, then go to text again, let's, let's annotate this part, this is kind of the double facade or the green facade element. Yeah, and as you can see, you can add kind of additional annotation. Maybe here we can do this window. Kind of like that, make it a bit different. Hit finish. Let's see. Yeah, let's call this facade element. And there you go. Now you can edit this text if you want, but I just like to leave it as as is. I think the size is correct. And then you can just export this and make it part of your presentation. Okay, so that's how you create these cool looking 3D uh, detail sections or diagrams uh, using Revit. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.